This is the craziest update I have ever seen from AI. And Tropic has just showcased the latest version of Claude and it can control your computer. This is going to revolutionize the future of AI and how we do things on the internet. So let me actually show you some quick stats on what has actually happened. And then we're gonna watch three different videos showcasing exactly how this works and how you can actually go ahead and test this out yourself. So right off the bat, there is a new model Sonnet 3.5 new and quickly glancing this from the original one, you can see majority of the percents have went up and even for coding, it has went up slightly as well. And pretty much you can see all the additional percentage increases. However, you want to see how it actually looks, the new updates. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here I am on one of the videos. They have this on their YouTube as well as their blog. And essentially, it can control your computer. And here it has a prompt that says, please fill out the vendor request form for this company using the data. So they have this Excel sheet on the left. And basically, it's going to... Just watch, just, just look how crazy this is. It's essentially going to take that information and then it's going to go ahead and fill it in as if somebody at a office job typically would go ahead and do, or even you if you have your own business or just need information. As you can see, Claude is going in, getting situated, and now it is taking control and it's going looking at the data on the screen and the, it literally sees something that was not there and it goes in and searches it up on another tab. This is actually insane. I know code can actually do some stuff similar to this if you actually know how to program it, but for the AI, literally is doing it based off of your prompts. And again, this is still in early stages, but just look, now it's going over here and it's filling in this form with the data according to the information that you gave it in the prompt. Now, this is revolutionary because one, let me pause this real quick. You see, it's continuing and it's just going in and filling this in and it submits the form. So this one is already pretty crazy, but in terms of the actual use case, if you've coded or if you've seen, automating something like this isn't that impressive. However, let's go ahead and look at another thing. Now, this one, for people following me, you code or you're interested in programming or you just want to build application with AI and you don't care about coding, whatever it is, this one is actually crazy, okay? So look at the prompt. It says, navigate to a Chrome window, go to Claude, and then basically prompt yourself to make a personal website with a 90s theme. So here, let me go ahead and uh, mute so you can hear me showcase my voice over the actual video. but essentially watch this this prompt and this is basically what we already do if we want to create a coding application we'll say go to cloud we'll literally go to cloud ourselves and type it in but this is all ai right now what you're seeing is clicking on chrome it's going in it's literally typing in cloud ai and then it's going in and making it say create a website all again, this is just AI. This is not a human typing any of this stuff. And then it goes and does the actual prompt as we normally would do as us humans. And then wait until you see what it does afterwards, right? So it goes ahead and does its usual response. And then he starts to explain some more details regarding this. But look, now it says click the prompt download button and then save the file and then open VS code and load the file. So he's adding another prompt, basically allowing it to edit the code that the AI created from its prompts and then open up VS code and then go in and essentially update the information here. And then it says, he says the prompt to terminal and then start it. So basically look at this, it goes to the terminal and is going in and check this out. So right now what he's saying, he's going to go and try Python to run it, but it can't find it. So what it does is it corrects itself and tries Python 3. So it's, it's literally 
fixing its issue as an AI. And then you can see here, he'll manually go in here and double check it himself. But just, just let's just pause real quick. Because he even says in the video, which you can watch again, and essentially there was multiple prompts that he had to do to get to this uh, end result. But he says, again, his early stages, ideally in the future, not sure timeline, but I'm, I'm assuming it would be probably in the newer updates that he said it could be from start to finish. You won't have to do all these miniature prompts in between asking it to fix things. But just think, think about how crazy this is right now because, yeah, the website doesn't look good, but it's theme or whatever. But it's not that defeats the whole purpose of the actual thing. It's the fact that one, it can go in, log, uh, go to whatever web browser type stuff in, and then two, it can fix its error if it notices that uh, the first step didn't work, which is something that we were talking about like literally last year, or even I mean maybe longer than that, of AI agents where it can pretty much self-correct itself. But let's go to the next example. And this one, this is for like more modern, like non-technical people, but just, just normal tasks. Like if you want to go travel or something and you want to make a list of places to visit. So here, this person puts the prompt, my friend is coming to San Francisco and they want to watch the sunrise at the Golden Gate Bridge tomorrow. And they'll be coming from Pacific Heights and essentially says to find a great viewing spot, check the drive time, sunrise time, then set up a calendar event. So pretty much a bunch of details for uh, viewing this uh, cool little place in San Fran. And take a look, gets access to computer, and goes to Google, does its thing, searches, best places to watch sunrise. And this is already crazy, because if you ever went on vacation or you just went somewhere and it's like, where should I eat? Well, what hotel should I stay at? This is going to automate everything. So. I'll share some thoughts about uh, what I think about this afterwards, but pretty much you can see it's doing it again. It's typing in exactly the city, or I'm guessing the area uh, that it wants to look, and then pretty much it's doing it automatically with AI. So you can see the general gist of it, but the craziest part is it continues, and look at this. It's gonna go ahead, look up the additional details in the prompts, so now it looks at sunrise time and then it continues and then you can see here it creates a calendar event which is insane you could literally say imagine you just type this in and say hey i got i need to go to the doctor or the dentist next week set up, set up an appointment and then put a reminder on my phone or my alarm clock i'm guessing again on, on desktop if this could literally save people so much time just with these features now this is pretty much the current updates, but think about this, right? This one is pretty crazy, but also pretty scary at the same time, because what happens if it goes crazy and then you can't stop it or who knows, right? And two is, I just thought of like a travel agency, for example, usually they, you know, they plan out your trip. They got to contact uh, different places and make sure that, you know, they can coordinate the times. Imagine you just have AI just be your automatic travel guide does everything for you, emails the hotels, emails the restaurants, reservations, whatever, you name it, it could do it. I mean, this could be crazy. Now, according to their website, you can actually test this out with the API. However, I personally am going to wait because one, this is a beta feature and I do not want, I don't, technically I don't really have any use case that I would need to use AI doing it as of today. Like I can go in and type in uh, what restaurants to eat myself. I feel more comfortable doing this. But if you do not care about any risk and you just want to test this out or you just have a computer where it's like, who cares what happens, you know? And they stay here, the computer use is a beta feature. And in short, it says there are a lot of risks associated with this and that you should be aware pretty much if you were to decide to do this. So. They say some of the ways to minimize the risk is use a dedicated virtual machine or a container with minimal privileges to prevent direct system attacks or accidents. So if you do know programming or you use computers a lot, you, you can definitely have this set up. Two is avoid giving the model access to sensitive data such as login info. And that's pretty common sense. But again, 
if you didn't realize this, like just make sure that's one. Limit internet access to an allow list of domains. So that is another thing that you can do. And then ask a human to confirm decisions that may result in meaningful real world consequences. So that is something I could see this could be bad if you were to do this with like um, buying a, like a t-shirt online or something. And then you gotta input your credit card and then who knows, right? what that the ai would click or you know it, it buys like you know too much worth of whatever product when you only wanted like a ten dollar shirt because again these are just assumptions but again this is something to keep in mind if you do decide to go ahead and test out on your computer but overall this is crazy share your thoughts in the comments below what use cases would you use this for and in the next future years when this gets even better can't imagine how crazy it's going to be. Aside from that, like and subscribe for more videos.